Hey everybody, Mark Spect the Comics and I'm back. This time en route, we're gonna be going to go visit a village that has dated back all the way to the 1700s, back during colonial times. It's been uninhabited for over a hundred years. A lot of Rhode Islanders don't even know it exists. It's called Hanton City. I'm gonna go explore it, see what's left of it, and do an unboxing. So stay tuned for that intro. All right, guys, so we're en route towards Hanton City, and it's from what I've done, I've done an extensive amount of research. A lot of people don't know how to get here. It can be very tricky, but there is two trails you can get there fairly easily, and I'm gonna show you one of them. If you stay on what they call the vernal, loop, vernal pool loop, supposedly it gets you right there. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so that was a fun little bike ride. A lot of hills, a lot of rocks. Highly recommend doing it with a mountain bike. Um, as you can see now, took took a right from the uh, power lines. Look at the power lines right behind me. And you can see the vernal pool loop, which is gonna be about a half a mile straight ahead. And then the uh, Hanton City should be right in front of us. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we know we're pretty close here because I've seen a few videos and they pointed out the vernal pools. So I know we're really close to Hanton City. We might be like on the outskirts right now. All right, guys, so we're here. We're here at Hanton City. Um, a lot of people call it Haunted City. It's like I said, it's a, it's a village within Smithfield, Rhode Island. Um, dates back to the 1700s during colonial era, uh, right around the, I want to say, Civil War time, pretty close to 1770s. The, uh, these people were kind of like here, almost like, not outcast, but they wanted to be like a little bit separated from the main Smithfield proper area. So they set, you know, camp out here. And uh, from what I gathered here in the trails, they must have came up here on horse and carriage because um, it's very hilly, very rocky, very remote, which I think was beneficial for them. I think that's what they wanted. Um, you can see some, well, you can see some settlements here behind me. Obviously, you got some rocks, which almost looks like, I don't know, either parts of a foundation of a house or it could just be an area you know to block off some section um, we're gonna explore a little bit more out here see what we can find because it's kind of spread out even though I just recorded right next to that Vernon vernal pool sign there's more here to see all right so uh, like I said I found that section over there which looked like either a foundation or like um, like a border like in between homes um, we're gonna keep our eyes peeled looking around for some wells uh, there's a dam out here as well that they use for irrigation and we're just gonna listen listen if we hear anything while we're out here it is very windy um, I'm coming out here after the day that Hurricane Ian well the remnants of Hurricane Ian passed through so it's, it's super windy but we'll we'll see if we can hear anything too because like I said they refer to this place as haunted city so all right stay tuned all right guys so we're clearly here seeing some more foundation here on both sides looking around some more we're gonna explore I would imagine I'm gonna find some wells over here and whatnot but I'll show that off when I see it all right guys all right so we're seeing more stuff here as you can see very cool um, more foundation so you can see it carries over here as well 
that looks like they talked about how there was a rock quarry and uh, that looks like the rock quarry right there very cool um, I'm sure the dam is right over here too as well we're gonna keep on looking there we go so we're just following this uh, vernal pool loop trail I'm on the back side of it right now um, according to my map the ooh, oh, sorry about that the um, historic cemetery site is nearby and that's honestly the easiest way to get here is following the trail to the cemetery uh, placard you see there's some more foundation pieces right here or just like barrier pieces we're just seeing this everywhere in the area um, very windy here so I apologize if it uh, if it ends up sounding pretty choppy I'll end up just editing that afterwards but uh, I reckon we're pretty close anywho so I'm on top of a pretty large rock formation and I figured while I'm here let's do an unboxing all right so I could not find the uh, cemetery marker which I thought that my uh, GPS would have been pretty good out here but I kind of got drifted off um, so I, I was staying on path with the uh, vernal loop and uh, and then I looked down one of the paths where I thought it would have made sense to go down and it didn't get me there but there is a marker I've been following um, yellow yellow paint markers on the tree so this is a trail of some sort but without me having a map of it I don't know really where it goes I said apologies if the uh, audio sounds a little choppy it is pretty windy I'm on top of a rock so it's gonna make the sound a little bit um, choppy at times but we're gonna do an unboxing probably the uh, first unboxing in and around the uh, Hanton City area so uh, I got these books from my buddy Alan. They were for a Make-A-Wish um, foundation. He ended up donating it to uh, his local chapter. So I uh, donated him some money for uh, some Moon Knight books. And uh, I'm going to show you what they are. So uh, we got Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, issue number one. I believe these are the Del Autos. Um, so you got the Virgin. Sorry, the trade dress. And then you got the uh, Virgin variant, which I think is really cool. I like that Blood Moon. And uh, obviously timing because we're in October. We also got, oh, this is pretty cool. We got uh, Street Level Heroes, um, Virgin variant with Storm on it. And um, it's signed by David Nakayama. And then we also got another Virgin variant with Storm on it. And uh, this is like the, I don't know, gold Virgin variant. And uh, the white. Not really sure what the uh, book is. Let's find out. Oh, so it's the uh, Immortal X-Men. Mortal X-Men, um, and it's a Whatnot exclusive. There we go. Mortal X-Men issue number one, Whatnot. It's actually really nice. Um, so uh, that is pretty sweet. Thanks, Alan, for sending those books over. Um, really appreciate adding those two extra books. You didn't have to do that, buddy. But um, that's it for this time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm out here in Hanton City, a little known, what they call haunted city to some locals. 
um, little note to a lot of Rhode Islanders in general, and in general, and um, had a fun time exploring it. Saw some pretty cool sites. Obviously, there's more to see here. A lot of trails, a lot of trails that spin off the area. Um, but that's all I have time for this for today, at least to explore. Maybe I'll get a chance to come back here again some other time. But uh, until next time, if you guys enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you got, what you thought about the books, um, what you thought about Hanton City. And just write down in the comments down below if you ever visited this area. So uh, until next time, Mark's with the comics. Out.